ไทยอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอ movement of ideas through the mass consciousness. <clears throat> um, strange events take place every day, and a lot of those events have been created by um, the people's words and. Um, Ideas that don't necessarily take root in actual um, concrete reality, and then of course those ideas through mass media and um, word of mouth, I suppose, begin to spread and mushroom cloud into this. Ridiculous debate on what you know we as a collective are going to do to defend ourselves from the madness that is growing, <laughs> and how are we going to take control back from those who have taken it from us of our lives? <clears throat> um, And I guess what concerns me about this behavior is that we forget that we're <coughs> caught up in some sort of game in our minds <laughs> that distracts us from having to deal with, you know, the reality of our circumstances in this moment. You know, <coughs> so. I propose that instead of working ourselves up into a tizzy over something that does not exist, yet, until we of course bring it into reality by trying to avoid it, or I don't know. I think we. Sometimes forget that we are in control of what happens, <coughs> and that oftentimes what we look to destroy or discard or prevent, we oftentimes create and railroad ourselves into <coughs> because we focus so much attention on it that it ultimately comes into being. And the power of attention really, you know, is powerful, especially when it's in the hands of those of us who don't recognize that that's what we're doing. So we place all this attention on all these ideas that were created by somebody who understands the power of attention. Who says basically probably you know like right now my idea has no place to go because only my attention is focused on it. Let's say they have an idea for a new world order, or they want to win the next presidential election, or they want to get their record out there, or whatever. They want to be recognized, as, you know, as a valuable uh, part of society, and so they put the word out there, and then people. Just like latch on to it, regardless of what it is. If they like it, if they like it, if they don't like it, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that they've placed their attention on it, and so they start paying attention to it, and they start investing thought into it, and they start creating a reality that only existed in a very small way at first, but because of mass media and because of, <coughs> of people's ability to create all these wonderful little. <coughs> Spin-offs of one idea and create this like network of you know concrete data that ultimately comes from somebody's imagination or not even somebody's imagination, somebody's 
intent to be or do something, whatever it is, doesn't really matter, then, you know, eventually that attention that everybody brings to the table eventually creates the existence of a reality that a few months ago didn't have any, didn't resonate at all. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is that as an individual in the collective of mass consciousness, I am choosing to refrain from getting involved in arguments over what's right and wrong, what's good and bad, and simply choosing to pay attention to what I am aware of, and also learning to choose what ideas and what thoughts I place my attention on, so as to create those realities for me and for, you know, ultimately the people who I love. And so I guess what I'm saying is, if you don't give credence is something, then the only credence it has is the credence that it provides for itself. And I say, better for that to happen. That way, people can't just put ideas out there and take the credence of other people as their own. So that they have to, pr they have to prove themselves. So they can't just live on this bubble of hot air that's created by the dissemination of, it, of the information, whether it be, you know, <coughs> right, wrong, good, bad, true, false, whatever, ultimately, they themselves have to, if they want to get their ideas on the table, they have to provide the credence. They can't just take everybody else's, you know, beliefs and that energy that creates support for antagony. You know, because once, the minute they have an argument, they have a place in the society, because in the society we love to argue, or debate, or what have you. And so, I think, ultimately, if you can simply focus on your attention, and give yourself the attention that you deserve, and not look for somebody else to give you the attention that you want, then the world may change in ways that we don't even imagine yet because we're too busy getting caught up in other people's fantasies and disputes and theories and not spending enough time <coughs> on our own, you know? Because we have an eternity, arguably, or we only have a few years until we die. Either way, why not spend more time finding ourselves, figuring out who we are as individuals, and then let that just na quite naturally, without effort and without desire, let that filter its way into the rest of society, so as not to create this, like, society where the most important aspect of living is getting your ideas out there and making sure that other people latch on to them and either agree or disagree or give them attention. You know, stop crying like a little baby for attention and just turn your atten turn the attention on yourself. And then I don't know. You'll see.